thing you can do is tell the truth. Tell you I am. Oh, he's lying. If you don't know anything about those dead ranges, what were you doing around there? I was a prospecting. We know our two men were killed by the Travis gang, and we know you're in with them. I'm not. No? Well, you were seen with them in El Camino. You mean those strangers I was drinking with? Well, they, they did say something that sounded kind of funny. All right, let's have it. Well, I overheard one of them say he's going to meet his boss in Red Rock Canyon. Well, Frank, howdy, Tom. Hello, Captain. Well, what have you got here? We picked him up on the desert where we found the bodies of the boys. Hmm. Learn anything? Not much. Take him away, Frank. Come on. I don't think he belongs to the Travis outfit. But he did say he heard they were headed for Red Rock Canyon. I'd give a lot to catch Travis red-handed. This is our chance, Captain. Do you want Frank and me to follow up the tip? I guess you'd better. But watch yourself. Remember what happened to the other boys. Good luck. Thanks. We'll probably need it. Take the lower road. I'll take the upper. Right. Are you sure Travis said to meet him here? Certainly. I saw him over at the cantina, and he said to be sure and be here. There's a ranger. We better split up and get out of here. Come on, boys.
Well, Tom, it looks like you didn't need me. <laughs> Go on, you help trail them. See, the boss ought to crack out with some cigars when he finds we caught some of the Travis gang. I won't be satisfied until I get Travis and the rest of them. I thought there were three of them. There were, but one got away. You take these two in, Frank. I'll trail the other one. You better take these along. You might need them. Thanks. Come on, get up here. Better give up, kid. Is that the best you can do? Ever hear of ricochet bullets? The ones that bounce around the corner. Well, here's where you get one. Come on out, kid. Let's have breakfast together. All right. I'll send you a different kind of invitation. This one will take your hat off. This is your last chance, kid. Come out. And I hate to do it. Just as I thought. Only a kid. You got me. Cut out the gab. But I like the gab. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. We'll eat before we're moving. That bacon is pretty well done. I suppose you like it that way. Good. So do I. Say, aren't you traveling in pretty tough company for a kid? Cut out the kid stuff. Uh, your boss is sure a good provider. Go ahead, don't mind me. I'm hungry. Mmm, this is good. Say, I'd like to meet that boss of yours. What do you mean? Listen, son, we know you belong to the Travis gang, and we know what you're doing. Don't think you can bluff me. You know what it'll mean when I take you in? Prison. Ten years. Maybe twenty. Sorry. I didn't mean to spoil your meal. Get any information out of the two men Tom captured? No, only that the names were Pat and Monty. We sweated them to try to make them talk, but they wouldn't say a word. Uh huh. I was afraid they wouldn't talk. Well, they'll get ten years to think it over. But that won't help us catch Travis. Well, maybe I better ride out and help Tom catch the third man who got away. No. If Tom doesn't catch him, no one will. Not that I want to hurt your feelings, Frank, but you know what I think of Tom. 
Sure. I know Tom's the best man on the force. That's my idea anyway. Glad you feel that way about it. You're young. You got your whole life ahead of you. Think it over, kid. Prison is no place for a young fellow like you. Better take up my proposition. It means freedom. The blue sky overhead. An honest living. The smell of the sage. And a good horse under you. And at night time when the boys are sitting around the campfire, you're one of them. and the sky's yours. The rolling hills. The whole earth belongs to you. That's what freedom means. I guess you're right. That sounds pretty good to me. I'm with you. Good. Good work, Tom. Three prisoners. But the man I want is Travis. Take him into the next room, Frank. I want to talk to the captain. It's all right, Jimmy. I figured out a way to catch Travis. Oh. I want you to let me have that kid. What for? He'll introduce me to Travis and get me in with the gang. You're crazy. You couldn't trust that kid. He'd double-cross you in a minute. You can see he's a born crook. Nobody's born a crook. That boy is just on the wrong road. Let me take him along. No, it's suicide, Tom. You know that Travis has cost us two good men already. That's all the more reason why I want that kid. He's the only one who can help us catch Travis red-handed. I can't let you do it. That boy is a prisoner. Captain, I'll be responsible for him. Sergeant Hilton, proceed along the lines you consider your duty. Yes, sir. I consider it my duty to take you with me. You mean you're not going to lock me up? No. I'm going to hold you to our bargain. I want you to take me to El Camino and introduce me to Travis and his gang. Like you and I have figured it out. Well, I didn't know you really meant that. I thought you were just stalling. Sort of let me down easy like. I did mean it, and I still do. You stay on the side of law and order, and you'll never be sorry for it. All right. Thanks, Tom. That's the side for me from now on. But I'm telling you, you're taking an awful chance going down there. Don't worry about me. I'm used to taking chances. That's my business. All I want you to worry about is yourself. Come on. We're taking a long ride to El Camino together.
sweetheart. Oh, she's different. They're all different. I'm tired. Tired. Get your hands off of me, please. I do nothing on the card. Haven't I told you fellows to let her alone? Say, I am not taking anything from you. Now listen, Joan. You better go upstairs and rest. Come on, I want you to meet Travers. Thanks, Ranger. You're welcome. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Travers. Meet my pal Tom here. How are you? Glad to meet you. Your pal certainly carries fast bullets. You bet he does. And he's a square shooter, too. He helped me get away from the Rangers. They got Pat and Monty, and they sure would have got me if it hadn't have been for Tom here. I am hiding out. I came along with Jimmy. I figured I might join up with you. I'll think it over and let you know. Tom, this is Joan. How do you do? Too tired to dance this one? All right with you? Sure, go right ahead. What's the matter, Captain? I'm worried about Tom. So am I. I think he's trusting that guy Jimmy a little too much. I'm afraid you're right, Frank. Tom's putting his head in the Travis noose and that little crook is holding the rope. Exactly what I think. I don't think he'll ever get away from that gang alive. That's right. Take this trail to the head of the canyon. All right, Jimmy. Boy, sure taking a long chance to this stuff in the daytime. Oh, dry up. He knows what he's doing. It's too darn dangerous handling these things at nighttime. It sure is. Supposing you stumbled and knocked over your lantern. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah? Why, this darn stuff would blow you to come in a second. It sure would. Take my advice. Watch where you're stepping and keep your eyes open. Ah! Why don't you watch what you're doing? Hold them high. Oh. 
What's the idea? Never mind what the idea is. Travis will tell you. Well, kind of mind. Oh, yeah? Well, come on. Come on, Bill. Say, the boss will sure be sore if we don't take him in. Do as I tell you. Let him go. He came with me. He's lucky we didn't plug him. Here's your gun. Why did you do that? I didn't want them to catch you spying. I wasn't spying, just looking around. Just looking around is mighty dangerous for lawmen in this place. <laughs> Surely you don't think I'm a John Law. Well, I'm not saying. The only reason I came down here was to escape the law. You can't fool me. You're not a crook. But I am. If I told you all the crimes I committed, it would take hours oh, and hours. Oh, stop. I know who you are. Jimmy told me all about you. Jimmy? Yes. He's my brother. Jimmy shouldn't have done that. Does Travis know Jimmy's your brother? No. Well, so far, he's been straight as a die with me. That's fine. But look out for him in a pinch. I'll take a chance on him coming through in a tough spot. You don't know what it would mean to me to have Jimmy go straight. Don't worry. Unless I'm a bad judge of men, he will. Did you find the goods? No. What's the matter? Something wrong? Why did you tell your sister? Sister? Yeah, Joan. Well, she tattled, huh? You talked first. We made a deal man to man that you wouldn't tell anybody. Suppose I change my mind. You promised me to help to catch a killer. And you're going to keep prison out of me? No, I'm trying to make a man out of you. I'll take care of myself from now. Think so? Remember, I can turn you in for a long stretch if you don't make good. You can't turn me in. I got pals here. Come on, we're going. I'm sorry, Tom. I lost my head. I shouldn't have told Sis, but... You see, she's the only one I got. And we tell each other everything. That's all right, Jimmy. So long, kid. So long, Tom. Frail Camino. Right. And if he spots Tom down there, It'll be just too bad for Tom. Then it's up to us. We better get right down there and help him. No, not that. If we show up in El Camino, we might get there just in time to spoil Tom's plans. We'd better wait. Well, waiting may be all right if we don't wait too long. We may find him like we did the others, on the desert.
Light the lantern, Jimmy. Travis, look. Well, this box has been opened. It was all nailed tight when we left here. Let's look at the other boxes. None of these have been touched. Whoever it was must have been in a hurry. We'll get this stuff out here tomorrow. What happened? Somebody hit me. Who did it? I don't know. I've got an idea. You stay here and guard the place and keep your eyes open this time. Come on, boys. Oh. All right. I was just leaving. Can I speak to you a minute? Why, sure. Sit down, please. How long have you been here? Oh, about an hour or so. I hope they never run the trains by your time. What are you talking about? Why, he only came in here a few minutes ago. Say, what's the matter with you? Didn't you see me sitting with him on the balcony for at least an hour? Well, uh, I, I guess I didn't notice. You must have done a lot of heavy riding about an hour ago. Your horse is still lathered up. Somebody must have borrowed my horse without my knowing it. Pretty liberal with your horse, ain't you? Come into my office, Jimmy. I want to talk to you. Oh, uh, there's someone in your office wants to see you. You stay here. I want to see you later. Stay here and keep your eyes on it. Why, Pat? Why well, thought they got you? No, they got me, but I give them the slit and got away. Uh, <laughs> sit down and tell us about it. Thanks. Will you deliver a message for me? Why, yes. <laughs> it's 
It's an all-night ride. Do you think you can make it? I'll get there. Well, good night. Good night. Jimmy had a tight squeeze, too, but a pal of his helped him get away. Oh, is that so? Yeah. I think I'll go out and get a drink. Wait a minute. We'll all have one in here. Kid, you sure were lucky to find a pal like that. What do you have, gents? Three straight. That's a ranger. That's no ranger. That's a pal of Jimmy's. Don't tell me. That's the guy that caught us. I'd know him in a million. Something wrong here. What about your pal? Why, he couldn't be a ranger. That's the fellow that helped me get away. What a sap you are, Jimmy. That guy just helped the kid get away so he could get in here. Why, that dirty double-crosser, does he think he can use me? Well, I'll block that and plug him right now! Wait a minute. Let me handle this. We'll have some fun. Pat him up! Dirty double cross and sneak. Pretending to be my friend in order to get in here and get my pals, eh? Well, take that. And take that. That's enough. We'll fix him like we did the other Rangers. Put him up against the wall. How do you want Or do you want to see it? I'll take it with my eyes open. All right, Jimmy. You do the honors. Thanks. I'll use my own. What's the matter, Jimmy? Are you yellow as well as a crook? Why don't you shoot? Let it go! Wait a minute, Travis. I caught the girl trying to get away with this. I locked her in the room. Listen to this, boys. It's rich. Captain Drummond, Ranger Post 117. Have spotted Travis and his gang. They will run contraband tomorrow. High explosives. Come to Coyote Canyon with some picked men and give the bunch of dummies a big surprise. Watch for my signal. TKL114. <laughs> Come here, Ranger. Bunch of dummies, eh? We'll show them how dumb we are. Here's a chance to get rid of a lot of rangers instead of one. 
And we'll use you for the decoy, mister. Being for them an ambush with fast bullets. How about it, kid? Say, I'll do anything to get back at this double-crossing ranger. That's the spirit, Jimmy. Get going. Leave it to me. If you have anybody you love, kid, think of them on that trail. I'm not thinking of anybody but myself. Well, Ranger, you'll get one last look at your pals tomorrow. Lock him up. What is this, a trap for us to walk into? Yes, it is a trap. When you get there, Travers and his men will be ready to open up on you. What about Tom? They're holding Tom, a captive, so they can catch you in ambush. If this note is from Tom, how does Travers know about it? Captain, you've got to believe in me. Travers does know about that note, but he doesn't know I'm on Tom's side. Dummies. Dummies. You wait in that room. I'll let you know what we're going to do. Here, Frank. Take a look at that note. I understand what he means by that bunch of dummies. Come on, I'll show you. Am I right? I think you are, Captain. I guess I was wrong about Jimmy. Let's call him in. What are you moping about? Cheer up. You're going with me. Leave me alone. I just saw the rangers on the road. Fine. Hey, you fellows. Take him out to the rock. Make him give the signal and let him have it. Get going. When 
I hear the firing, I'll know the rangers are busy, and I'll get the wagon out. You and I are going to have a nice little ride together. All right, wait a minute, you. Now get up on that point. Go on. All right, fellas, take your place. Give him the signal. Go on. Give him another. Better get aboard, girlie. We'll be starting any minute now.
I'm with you, Tom. Keep him covered, Jimmy. Are you hurt? I don't think so. Well, that was a close call. Oh, Jimmy! You came through like a real ranger, and you didn't let me down. I hope I make as good a one as you are, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tom, for the tip in your note about the bunch of dummies. <laughs> it's an old trick, but I knew you'd get it. Out of it, lad. And I'm proud of mine, too. <laughs> <laughs> 